life insurance. What is life insurance? What is a life insurance policy? I believe most people think, as I once did, that life insurance is simply a contract that you pay to a company that will then pay a large sum of money to your surviving beneficiary when you die. That is true, but there's a lot more to it than that. Aloha, I'm Stan Cox, Principal Broker and Strategist with SC Finance Strategies and Insurance Consultants. I'm also the author of the books on the Tax-Free Cash Growth Warehouse Strategy, and I'm the Managing Director of the Hawaii Financial Free Thinkers Academy, a nonprofit financial literacy education organization. For the past several years, I have focused on and specialized in the infinite banking concept and developing the Tax-Free Cash Growth Warehouse Finance Strategy. Now, if you find this video to be helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, please post your questions and comments here. Life insurance in America began as a way to cover the loss of goods that were being shipped from Europe to America. So it wasn't really life insurance, but an assurance contract that had to be purchased each time a merchant imported products. Eventually, life insurance evolved out of that and was rather exclusive to merchants and their families. It was a kind of a cooperative made up of the people who bought the insurance, and they pooled their money to pay for any claims. From there, it grew into a variety of financial benefits, and life insurance became an asset all in its own. Now, and for many decades, Life insurance is a specialized contract that a person can buy that takes the financial risk of dying too early off the hands of the one being insured, and in return for the payment of premiums to the insurance company that will take on the risk. And that's what a life insurance policy is in its essence. And it has grown to include some very valuable additional benefits. The way uh, the insurance companies have developed their products and the laws that have developed around the insurance, the life insurance has become an asset that grows cash value, that is liquid and protected. Most all life insurance policies also provide for at least a partial payout of the contracted death benefit when the insured person becomes disabled, or is diagnosed with a terminal illness. That is what is termed living benefits. Another video on that. What I call living benefits is the cash value benefit with whole life insurance. This whole YouTube channel is dedicated to educating about the strategies that have sprung up around the cash benefits of participating whole life insurance, particularly the infinite banking tax-free cash growth warehouse finance strategy. So uh, I'm not gonna go into it right now because this whole channel is full of information about it. So check it out, browse around, watch some videos. The original life insurance companies were mutually owned companies by the policy owners. As the industry grew and more and more insurance companies opened up and the stock market came into being, many life insurance companies became stock companies. So now most insurance companies are stock companies rather than mutual companies. As a result, benefits to the policy owners have been reduced in those stock companies. And the relatively few remaining mutual companies stand out as offering the greatest benefits, especially cash value benefits to their policy owners. Now, we need to talk about the various kinds of life insurance that have come out of the original model. Whole life is the first to come out of the original merchant's assurance policies. Whole life, as I mentioned, has a valuable cash value asset aspect that grows with a guaranteed annual interest rate. And with the mutual companies, there's also cash dividends that are declared annually and paid to the policy's cash value on top of the min minimum guaranteed interest. Also, the premium that is assessed for each policy at the time of application for the policy 
is set and will not increase. It may decrease over time or even be eliminated depending on the design of the policy. Term insurance, term life insurance evolved as a temporary bare bones means of mitigating the risk of death of an individual. It is very basic and simply provides a financial death benefit if the insured person dies within the contract period. The term, the term periods are usually for 10, 15, or 20, or maximum of 30 years. Because of the bare bones nature and the limited time coverage, term life requires the least premium for the amount of coverage, all other things being equal. Most term policies do offer the living benefits of a partial death benefit payout in the case of disability or terminal illness. But an interesting fact about term insurance is that only about 2%, 2 or 3% of all term insurance policies ever pay out any death benefit. And that's because in the vast majority of cases, the policy time limit expires before the insured person dies. Also, the premium charged for the term insurance increases with the age of the insured. There are level premium term policies offered by most companies. But what is happening there is that the company takes the calculated annual premium for each year of the contracted term and then averages it to come up with the level annual premium. But then if you want to renew or buy a new term policy when the current one expires, the premium will be calculated for the current age and aging of the insured. And that new premium will typically be several times what the first level premiums were. In addition, term insurance never has any cash value, zero. So when the policy expires, there's no refund of any value for the insured or owner of the policy. The newest type of life insurance policy is called universal life. Originally, it was called variable premium life because you could vary how much you paid on a month-to-month -month basis within certain limitations. There are three versions of universal life. I have no idea how or why they decided to call it universal, but the three versions are guaranteed universal or GUL, indexed universal or IUL, and variable universal or VUL. Universal life is categorized as a cash value life insurance, but the cash value part is rather tenuous. With guaranteed universal, the premium is said to be guaranteed. That is, the owner has promised that the contracted premium will not increase. However, there is a caveat. Unlike with whole life, universal life does charge the annually increasing cost of insurance which is based on the mortality or age of the insured to the policy. <clears throat> and there are other fees associated with universal and charged to the policy. So unless the owner of a universal policy voluntarily pays more premium as time goes by, the policy will begin to tap whatever cash value has accumulated until there is no more, then the policy will lapse leaving the owner with no insurance and no cash value. A quick note about the IUL and VUL. IUL is a universal insurance policy where the cash value growth is not from guaranteed annual interest paid to the policy, but is based on one, of the, one or a combination of stock indexes. If the stock index performs well, the policy gains a percentage of cash value with IUL. The cash value will not be lost when the stock index loses value because it has what is called a zero floor. With VUL, variable universal, it is built as an investment vehicle, not merely tied to a stock market, but actually invested in the market. So when the market tanks, 
a VUL policy will lose money. And the owner can be called on to replace the deficit or risk having the policy lapse. So bottom line, a life insurance policy is a contract between an individual and an insurance company to take on the risk of the insured person dying too soon in return for premium payments made to the insurance company. There are many differences between the types of life insurance, values and benefits and costs. But the essence of a life insurance policy is a contract for the mitigation of the financial risk of death of the insured. There are other videos here detailing the different types of life insurance and their benefits. And we are champions of the infinite banking tax-free cash growth warehouse finance strategy. So please look around and bookmark this channel for future viewing. And if you found this to be helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, please post your questions and comments here. You have questions, we have answers. For a more complete explanation of the tax-free cash growth warehouse strategy, you can watch our free 60-minute webinar. The link is in the description box below. The link to buy my books on amazon.com is also below. If you'd like to book a free phone consultation with me, the link to my Calendly page is also below. If you'd like to book a, uh, if you'd like to be, apply to become a client of ours, the link to the application is also below. We're here to help, and we do look forward to helping you. Aloha and mahalo for watching.